Who are you? Hey, right, we're live. Da, da, da. And there's four people. Hello, four people. And uh, Mrs. has just gone to get a glass of water or something. I expect. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, no, I started yawning already. I was meant, I was told by Mrs. to uh, have a lie in. <laughs> and completely failed. I got up at half past eight, but, which is a lie in for me. But anyway, amnesia soon. Yay. Anna Lee Brown in Indiana. Hello. And Neil Pye, the man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Oh, John Strine, hello. Good afternoon, morning for you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a glum day. It's overcast and not grand. Hey, Cat in Wales, hello. Uh, hello, Sunday, you lot. Happy Sunday, you lot. Happy Sunday, you lot. Yeah. Anna Lee Brown, it's, uh, what, well, here, it's uh, just gone two o'clock. Uh, in fact, according to my computer clock, it's two minutes past. But according to my phone clock, it's uh, six minutes past, which is odd because I think they both synchronize through the interwebs. So, how does that work? Not very well, apparently. So, I'm sorry if uh, if you thought I was late. <laughs> oh, Annalie, yeah, it's nap time. Hello, babe. Hello, darling. Uh huh. Oh. Hi guys. Sorry I'm late. Oh. I've uh, been doing some serious gardening stuff. In Ooh, the greenhouse. For hours and hours and hours. Yeah. Aye. Like, yeah. Five hours. Yes. Oh, so, you know, when you kind of get involved in something and then, bless him, Keith said, Dunning! 20 minutes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, did you not? Nearly finished. Were you not? What? If I hadn't told you, would you oh, still I'd, be there? Probably, yes. And I'd be panicking and calling names. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just sit here and smile a lot. <laughs> oh, that was my plan. Uh, <laughs> Mia Sims, how's the weather up in Yorkshire? It's it's overcast. Overcast. It's it's all right. It's not it's not windy. It's not It's only that over cold. Right. It's just good. Uh yeah. Um, oh, cat making a cheese and onion quiche. Great stuff. Yeah, nice. Um, uh, Mr. Paul Spantry, storms in span. Goodness. Thank you. I've got another one. Uh, Jacob H, whereabouts in leaves? That is a closely guarded secret, not telling you. <laughs> Jeffrey Austin, hello. Ken Hulo, hello, Malaysia. Hi, Ken. And uh, Nick Basto, hey, oh, from Bradford, lad. Hi. Yeah, well, I can tell you, we're, we're on the on the Bradford side of Leeds, on the west side, but um, not, not more than that. Uh, uh, Bram Hope, I don't even know where that is. No. <laughs> we're not posh. Are we? Oh, you are. I, I'm not. No? We'll sit here and smile a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Yeah, well, it did. Uh, yeah, we got. Well, it didn't really get up to Madrid that much. That's pretty sure. It had all evaporated because mm. of the, the uh, height. Uh, good day, Colonel. Love the fried chicken. Good. Keep it up. Yeah, I, um, I had a summer jet. Summer job, didn't I? Down in what's what is the big plain? What's what's the the big well um, farming? You, belt? you were in uh, Andalusia. Andalusia, yeah. Um, yeah. And there's a funny story about that because we were living in Dubai at the time and planning to move to Spain. And um, Mrs. Keith Cooks had got a job helping out on a on a, a farm in Andalusia that also did a bit of B B and B. No, they had like four, yeah. four rooms, and one of them was occupied by a couple that we actually knew in Dubai. <laughs> and they said, 
What are the chances? What uh, what TF are you doing here? <laughs> 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 um, uh, oh, Enigma. Hello. For, are, you, are you writing down where people are? Well, if they tell me. Here's one. En you tell me. Enigma. Uh -huh. Odd capital, uh, capitalization from Clackline, Western Australia. Never heard of that. Where is that? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you live this far from Australia, you've only really heard of the cities. Uh, so. Neil, Neil Pye, you are banned for the rest of the session. Oh, what's he said right. this time? No, don't tell me. He says... Just don't tell me. Chicken always puts them in a foul mood. Oh, God. Neil, we've only just started. <laughs> Can you just build up gently? <laughs> Hey, Cindy Murata, hello. Oh, hello, Larson. Chris the Butcher <laughs> and Friends. Oh, hello, Chris the Butcher. Butcher. Oh, Tuk Tuk. Rick. Oh, wow. Hey, the lad. <laughs> How are you doing? All right, guys. We tuk Tuk, you. Asian yeah. food. If you ever find yourself in Madrid or Barcelona or oh, yes, I think Valencia funny, as well. It? And you fancy a spot of Asian food, go to Tuk Tuk. Street food, absolutely oh, magnificently Marvelous. wonderful stuff. Yeah. Rick, you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. Our friend opened this. Uh... Sorry, I've just seen Rick's follow up and London and Paris. I missed that. Seriously? Oh, your timing's good. Get out. <laughs> no, but he did. He, op he opened up Tuk Tuk in Madrid. Uh, corner site, ground first. Floor. I would have bet money that so, it would yeah. fail. And the food was so good. And uh, yeah, since since we come out, came uh, we came back what four years ago, and, and in the interim, fantastic. <sighs> he's he's, well he's going to be the next Kentucky Fried Chicken, I expect. <laughs> or, I think he's going to do better than that. <laughs> well, better, better food certainly. Yeah, um, seriously, yeah. <sighs> Uh, can Barcelona, brilliant, yeah, get, you've got to go if you can, and um, get in that big church they're still building, <laughs> it's rather familiar, it's spectacular. Yeah, uh, it's the sort of place that every time you go back, you know, if you go back every couple of years, you, you might as well go and see it, because you'll go, what, what's happening now? Mm. Uh, Chris the Butcher, oh, well, be like that, oh, go, and, go, go and get some beers, mm. beer like that. Uh, smiling. <laughs> Who's smiling? Me. Right. <laughs> oh, Chris! The last time you you were you were getting a hot tub. You're going to do a hot tub live streaming naked from your hot tub, and we missed it. Did it happen? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> Crystal Hunt. Hello, Crystal. Hello, all. Um, uh, did, 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 did. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Eric. Yorkshire flag, flag of Yorkshire. There's other ones I'd like to put up, but I'll get in trouble for them. <laughs> oh, Chris, disappointing. Not naked. Uh -huh. uh. Yeah, wait till it warms up a bit. Yeah, it needs a willy warmer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Neil, I think that was a green light. <laughs> <sighs> right. Uh, Crystal, yeah, we, we are doing just fine. We are staying safe. Uh, you know, we we always go go out with um, a two meter long stick now, and if anybody gets too close, you just whack them. And we watched the Eurovision Song Contest, non contest yeah. last night, and everybody told us to stay safe. So you know, the whole of Europe is supporting us, so we're going for it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you know, other people can do that as well. It was weird. The Eurovision Song Contest cobbled together from people from the artists, sort of either homemade at home videos or um, promo videos that have been done professionally beforehand. Yeah. Uh, and um, But also, yeah. with the, no, um, I, I went online afterwards because there were a couple of songs I, I really, really liked. And, uh, and I found Eurovision Song Contest, all the acts in alphabetical order by country, 
and um, you could watch their performance on the final show where you know where they won the final to represent their country. So yeah, it was good. It was we good. didn't even have that this time. They just nominated some some bloke, and uh, that was it. Uh, anyway, um, Ken Hulo, love the video, Seven on Crew. Yeah, Kulu Biak. I've never ever heard of that. It's another name for the same thing, basically. Kulu Biak. Okay. Um, mm, and yeah. All right. Uh, Glenn Granger, I like you a lot. Love your channel. You're so easy to watch, and I learn so much. <laughs> Cheers and thanks. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh. Chris the Butcher, you boastful little person. I think he's still talking about the warmer device. Oh, I thought it was talking about the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 cat Zorba balls. Yeah. Is that like in a ball pool? Is that another name for that? I don't know. Uh, I was uh, I was listening to Saturday Live podcast today, Sunday, and they were talking to a primary school teacher who started off as a uh, doing doing athletics but when she was at university um, she realized that you know she needed to concentrate on getting her education degree and all the rest of it so she sort of pulled back on the athletics and didn't do anything for a good few years and then she missed it so she started again and then she went to oh, I don't know the European championships the world championship championships she did a race she came third so all the kids in her year six are thrilled with her. She thinks they think Miss is the best teacher in the world because she's been on the telly running. But she was saying <laughs> that now she's on lockdown, um, she's she's basically practicing in the street because you're allowed to do your 20 minutes or whatever it is of exercise now. That's just so showing said, off. So she said, what the neighbours make of me and me absolutely pelting down the street time and again, you know. <laughs> couldn't quantify but she's also a hurdler um and she bought three hurdles uh, and she she took them with her to the park and so normally you have 20 hurdles in a race so she's got her three so she's been she she's been practicing right? over them yeah she says it's dead interesting because you get cool. the old dog coming through and then you'll get children wanting to have a quick play on them <laughs> So there you go. Lockdown athletics. Yeah, still out, mate. excellent, excellent. Um, mm. All right. Uh, Constance Dubois, what am I cooking today? Nothing. Uh -huh. um, we'll be hungry later. Oh, fish. Oh, for, oh yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> right. We went to Morrison's. Do you know you say that every single blooming week? <laughs> what? We went to Morrison's. And then you explain why we go. Anyway, go on. <laughs> So, um, and uh, uh, they've got a fish box. This is, this is they've got fish boxes because they, they supply restaurants, and it's the restaurants being um, not happening at the moment. Well, no, they don't directly, but the, the but fish suppliers. producers are like, We got all this fish that was supposed to, and meat as well, uh, that was supposed to go to uh, restaurants, they don't want it for some reason, so mm. uh. It's really good stuff, and so literally, um, there was, it's there, ended was up. there was mackerel, lemon sole, something else. What was the other flatfish? Do you think? Uh, a place, place, no, a, yeah, lemon, lemon sole place. Herrings, um, uh, half dozen herrings, half dozen sardines, or yeah, I think they were sardines. Okay, and uh, a mackerel. Um, yeah. So one and a half kilos, two kilos of really good fish, and it's uh, five pound a kilo. But it's all entire with its head and skin and scales and guts. So you've got to do that bit yourself, which I'm not, 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 not you know, don't. But like. having, having <laughs> brought home this, this big fish box that he hadn't actually gone out intending to buy, it was, what are two people going to do with this much fish yeah. before it goes off? So he spent the whole of the day before yesterday, up until 7 o'clock, I think it was, in the kitchen and... Let me think. Fish stock, mackerel pate, soused herrings. What else did you do? Out and out. Uh, no, that that was it. But yeah. and I also I filleted the flatfish, and I'm going to do those later, as um, in you know lightly floured and, and and fried. With but a, not in a video because we've got to get through. 
a, but, a buttery sauce kind of thing. Oh, um, what a shame. How we suffer. I know. You can have something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Ken, the, the Cooley Black, Cooley Biak. Uh, I've oh, heard the name. Yes, with hard boiled eggs, mushrooms, onions, and dill. I've heard of it, but mm. I couldn't have told you what it was. No. Um, <laughs> I think I would have to sample that prepared by somebody else uh, before trying to make it. So, yeah. <laughs> can't, you can't do seafood unless it's had a kimbatter. Do you mean you can't cook it or you can't eat it or what? I mean, you know, in batteries is probably. I think that's about eating. <laughs> yeah. the, the the way we have fish most, isn't it? It's uh, yes. Battered. He's he's uh, perfected uh, fish batter. It's just marvelous. <laughs> Other people have also done that. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, it's worth perfecting. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I don't have to because my beloved will do it for me. But honestly. Beautiful, light, crispy batter. Yeah. It's moist underneath. Um, it's like the way I go on about pastry as well. Right. Oh, Cindy, no, that's not quite true. No vids on the fish dishes. I am doing on my phone, as, which is why I actually took seven hours. Yeah, because Keith three. actually does recording um, his, his recipes on a, on a Monday. But because he'd uh, done the shopping on the, the the Friday, he spent all Friday in the kitchen doing that. And then yesterday, you know that photographic assignment he's doing? Oh, he spent all of yesterday hand-making tagliatelle and then uh, setting it up in various ways that food stylists do and then taking the yeah, photographs. for one photograph, right? <laughs> the, 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 the assignment is, he says... It, I mean, it was all about the uh, tips and tricks of the trade of, you know, how to make your uh, fruit and vegetables look fantastic and how to make everything look brilliant. Um, so it was that. But basically, you've got to set up one photo of whatever, actually, but as long as it's food related um, and um, upload it and he'll review it. So he says you can put as many as you want, but I'm just going to look at the first one. So, Nick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so... So we ha we enjoyed eating our tagliatelle last night, but it just wasn't right for the picture, and because of the amount of time we had to spend getting it picture perfect, it sort of overcooked and coagulated and tasted good, but didn't look good business. And it was actually... So going to do it again? <laughs> the main part of the photo, the main, the actual dish, was out of focus. Only a bit. Just but enough. it's got to be not only a bit, it's got to be absolutely, you know, tack sharp. Uh, so Keith announced this morning that he's got to do it again. And, and I actually put my foot down, didn't I, in a wifely sort of way? First time ever, I think. Like, I absolutely not, you're always forbid me what to do. you. I've never said forbid to, to do it today. <laughs> anyway, so the plan now is uh, I'm going <laughs> to... Because it was uh, carbonara sauce, um, which is a weird sauce. It's it's cream and no, it's not cream. It's absolutely not cream. It's egg and cheese and uh, bacon or, or cured pork. Um, so it's not a runny sauce. It it just kind of coagulates on on the strands of pasta, and with all the messing about. Of all the other things to take care of, it, it, it almost set into a solid lump, hasn't mm. it? So he put it back in the microwave to free up the sauce, but of course it cooked the pasta further. And so, yeah, it was a big blob. It was a tasty blob, but for a for a photographic assignment, oh dear, we're going to have to have it again. Yeah, um, but it won't be the real thing. I'll do a cheaty sauce that will have cream in it. Um, so, oh, right, yeah. Yeah, you can, can't you? Because it's not for a recipe, it's for a photograph. Yeah. And also on Brit. Cheat, 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 cheat. Sorry, stylist, stylist, stylist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if, no, if you, the stylist, your job is finished once um, it's all there and then the chef dumps it on the plate and, you know, the fork holder twirls it and <laughs> lifts it up and the photographer presses the button. Done. So, um, yeah, that kind of thing <laughs> Never mind. yeah 
Uh, chili beef tacos. E well, chili beef tacos. Uh, <laughs> oh, Cindy, right? Yeah, I've got, I've got no complaints. Triple. If you have to cook it twice <laughs> <laughs> on on different days, that is. So. Oh, well, it, um... Can I just say that the other day I made absolutely stonking egg cress and mayonnaise sandwiches. Yeah, good. Been growing the cress on the windowsill. I've got some. Um, oh, what was it? Oh, there's some other this some other seed. Oh yeah, linseed. I've tried growing linseed sprouts, but the oil really does ooze out the seeds, and it's just it's a mess. And they're so fine, they block the the seed seed sprouter. So this time, I just put them on a paper towel with the cress and let them get on with it, and uh, oh, it was great. I used to use linseed oil when I when I did oil painting. Do you use it for cleaning brushes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, and uh, also as like a varnish, I think. Okay. Has anybody seen or heard of Bob? <sighs> oh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Yeah, everybody has. Does it? Well, I I haven't. <laughs> there, were, there was a uh, a little documentary program on the radio the other day, and people were talking about uh, tuning in to watch the Joy of Painting, which Bob Ross did in the sixties, and has since been put in its entirety on YouTube. And so there's people who are watching because they wanted to learn to paint. Um, and there were others who were just watching because, like, life was hard. They were miserable, and it just made them feel better listening to this guy while he got on with doing these these pictures. And uh, so that's what set me off because I actually watched Series 1, Episode 1 the other night, and it was, uh, you know, a lot of it was included, right? You know, the eight colours you need for your, in your oil paints, the types of brushes, the spatula, and cleaning your brushes. That was the one. Uh -huh. yeah. So anybody out there, paints, let's watch Bob Ross. What have we got? Happy trees. Happy trees. Yes. That was right, Jill. Did you listen did you listen to the uh the podcast or was Happy Trees actually the name of that first episode? Because this is all new to me. Hello, David. <laughs> David White, a, a jock in the Phil. That okay. would be the Ippies, a Scottish, I think. A Scottish person in, in the Phil, I don't know. Well, he's either the, is it the, the Philharmonic? Philharmonic in Liverpool. <laughs> uh, Jill 2070 has to be the original. It's like, uh, yeah, I think Whispering Bob Harris might have um, taken after him. A synchronous meridian response. What does that mean? It means uh, it's it's uh, it's a thing where some people are very sensitive to um, uh, sounds, uh, repetitive sounds and quiet sounds. So, and and they get a kind of tingling sensation. Your scalp tingles and stuff, and. If you're able to do it, mm. if if you can make a convincing ASMR video, you will get millions and millions of views because the people who, who do who get ASMR, they're real perverts and they just search for it all the time. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if anybody <laughs> heard that with my fantastic new microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's, that's really interesting because yeah, I mean, I, I do, I do think we do um, respond to a, should we say, a low growl? <laughs> no, <laughs> or but, maybe that's a female thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, you, you, you well, have, have a search later. Oh no, it's um, all right. I know, I, I, I believe it. I'm, uh, it's just I've never heard of it before. <sighs> all right. Well, Jill, if uh, you want to get back to it, he's he's on YouTube. So there we go. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. 
Oh, PBS is like uh, public, public broadcast, broadcast service. Yeah. yeah, I was interviewed by them once. Were you? Why? Briefly uh, about the building boom in Dubai. Oh right. They said um, there's a lot of building going on. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find an interview? <laughs> <laughs> It was a phone call. It was about two o'clock in the morning. Sure. <laughs> Jill, where are, whereabouts are you in the US? I have, for those of you who are wondering, I, I have um, I stuck the animal stickers <laughs> and the and the flag where stickers on the countries, but I haven't got around to putting the people on pins and whatnot because I've been doing the garden. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> you need to prioritise your. Priorities, you know. Okay, so Cindy used to watch him. <laughs> Jill 27, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Jack, where, where are oh, you? Australia. Yeah, but which bit? Because everybody from last, from last week who said where they were from, they, they right, well, Western Australia or South Australia. Yeah, Jack, I've done, uh, I've done Lamingtons. I thought they were New Zealand. Oh, 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 you little stirrer. I'm not, I'm not. Yes, that was a are. genuine error. I don't think they were from New Zealand. Lamingtons? Yeah. Goodness, no. Right. I'm completely wrong. I apologise. It's all right. <laughs> <sighs> Neil, that was an eloquent answer. Of course. Massachusetts. Whatever the question was. Uh, oh, William Ray. Hello. Good afternoon. Sunday Club. Yeah. Hi, William. How's you? Do you know, it's really nice seeing you guys. Come, I mean, I can see is not the operative word, but, you know, it's lovely that you come back every week. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really want a Sunday afternoon off. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Uh, uh, Neil Pye, well, can kangaroo, ste kangaroo steaks are tricky to get hold of at the best of times. So mm. Somebody said last week that they'd had some, didn't they? Yeah, well, I think we probably have. No, yeah, we had. There was a game restaurant in um, uh, in Dubai that, that, that had all that stuff, you know, all that bizarre animals. Hi, Sean. Um, so 2009-ish. Is that when you were born? <laughs> what? Where are you based? I'm curious to know. Ah, there you oh, go. All right, all right. Aberdeen. <laughs> Why? Are people from Aberdeen called Aberdonians rather than Aberdeeners or Aberdeenists? It's, or um, it's a very good question because... I wasn't asking you. <laughs> I was asking I'm you. not answering the question. <laughs> I, but I'm just saying that um, all of those words to describe uh, people from certain places... The, 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 um, I was looking up what's what do you call somebody from Halifax, and it, it turns out it's Haligonian. Except, I just say I'm from Halifax. Yeah, because not the Yorkshire Halifax, but the um, oh right, is it Nova Scotia or the Canadian Halifax? Yeah, they're Haligonians. But I expect if you went to our Halifax and say, "Hey, are you Hal all you Haligonians? Come over here, let's have a chat," and they say. No, lad, you're <laughs> in Canada. <laughs> uh, cat, yes, right, yeah, I'm sure I've seen that. Iceland have a posh fr freezer thing. Um, where ostrich, kangaroo, alligator. Oh, right, and, and okay. Such like. Mm. <laughs> Jill 27, I do not believe that for a minute. Which bit? People from Massachusetts are called mass holes. <laughs> No. Did Neil Pye write that? No. <laughs> no, it's <was> just. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Jack, I don't actually watch cricket. Sorry, life's too short. Um, <sighs> ah, but there's more time now. They've they've changed the way it works. <laughs> no, I still haven't got any time. Yeah. Um, you can't. Uh, Hi, Jeffrey. He said, Jeff. he said, oh, Jeff Oliver. Hello, hello, my friend. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, 
Oh yeah, mm. yeah, Jeff Weldon, Butterburger Man. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, I actually did quite quite doing quite well that recipe that video. Uh, surprising amount of views. Yeah, Indiana, the hoosiest. Uh, yeah, nobody knows why. Well, you're you're more hoosy than other states, but nobody knows what hoosy means. <laughs> Actually, I think it's to do with bingo in it when you get a full hoose. <laughs> so you're better at bingo. I thought it was about a president. Anybody know? Who's, Why are Indiana, Indianans? Indianans. Oh, <laughs> Indianans calling. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, they're not called Indianans. They're called hoosiers. <laughs> <laughs> mad, 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 mad world. Uh, Jack, you late? I don't think you are. Gordon Ramsay. I wish you'd change your name. Um, uh, Indiana pork tenderloin sandwich. All right, that doesn't sound very complicated, but why should it be? <laughs> Crystal, thank you. I thought you were going to say the exact opposite of that. <laughs> I sometimes feel mine, mine is getting worse. Uh, my cooking. Uh, oh, touche, cat. Touche. Gordon Ramsay can't spell his own name. Hmm. Australian people are usually called Australians. I'm not sure about that. I probably shouldn't ask this, but what is Indiana sugar cream pie? Yeah. I do a little. <sighs> mm. Hello, Karen Daly. Uh. Hi, Karen. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Gordy, I, I can't make a lot of sense out of that. <laughs> Who's ya? Who's your neighbour? Who's ya? Uh, oh, is that it? Who's oh, ya? gotcha. Right. No, who's ya? Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sean, I wouldn't worry about not being able to cook when you're 35 <laughs> at <Yeah>. all. <laughs> some of us are a lot older and can't cook either. <laughs> Although your, your spelling needs some attention. <laughs> Washingtonians, yeah, that's that, that makes sense. Yeah, Se yeah. Seattleites, that the uh, satellite. Satellite of Stop. love. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cindy, <laughs> do a bad shot, Scottish accents. Yeah, uh, Jack. No, I don't follow football. I'm, I'm, I'm really not, um, not a sporty person at all. Um, am I? Yeah. No. no. Uh, who's ya? Who's ya? Okay. Hello, Ryan from Scotland. That would make you a Scot. I think he's the first Scot on today. He's not. There was somebody from Aberdeen. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's in Scotland. That's my, my memory. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a Cortez. But you know, yeah. there's some. Uh, oh, and I, I thought it was Jeff Holland. Um, the, there's uh, there's some places that just don't have have a name. It's like I'm I'm I was born in Durham City and had the first five years of my life in Durham in County Durham. So uh, is it a Durhamer, a Durhamite, a what? It's not. There's just isn't anything for that. Mm. Um. Jack, you wouldn't like my Australian accent, mate. Tommy Kangaroo Down. I did it last See? <laughs> Tommy Kangaroo Down Sport. Tommy Kangaroo Down. <laughs> uh, so where's where's Anna Cortez? Is it is it in California? 
or where, where is it? Know, it sounds Spanish. Exactly. That sounds like thinking. So it might be kind of all oh, right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <gasps> Noodles on yeah. top of mashed potatoes. Creamy chicken and noodles over mashed potatoes. What? That's that's a new one on me. Me. <laughs> Ooh. Um, we don't tend to eat noodles, do we? No, but um, no, but um, we just don't. No, some people noodle is is just another word for spaghetti or um, pasta. Oh right. Um, Macam Sunderland. Yeah, we know. <laughs> but I guess. I guess if you're in training and you need high carbs, that'd be a pretty good combination. Koala Lumpurian. That sounds better than a kaolite, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, the kaolites. Um, oh, crikey, Bob. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. We have a COVID-19 survivor in the house. Well, I am so glad you're fine. Oh, how awful. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Oh, right. Ana Cortez is in Washington State. Fidalgo. So, okay. How far north did, right. the, did the Spaniards get back in the days when everybody was invading and counter-invading? That's a heck of a long way. Yeah. Australians don't drink Fosters. I know. I used to... I used they to, export it instead, yeah? <laughs> I, I, I used to work for them for a bit. Um Because they... Uh, well, I started off working for Courage Brewery and Fosters bought it. Um, so yeah, can you tell what it is? Yeah, it's kangaroo, mate. Kangaroo, uh, creamed corn over mashed potatoes. Interesting. Um, oh, everyone's allowed their guilty pleasure. Aurora, Ontario. Yeah, uh, oh, okay. Reason CJ1. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> pasta is pasta. Some names are quite difficult to say, you know. <laughs> We can get Aurora. Noodles in Indiana means rolled out dough, thick, in strips and boiled. That's tagliatelle. Or spaghetti. No, if it's rolled out, oh, it's not going to be. It's not going to be round like spaghetti. So, uh, no. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jeff, Dungeness crab. It's king of the sea. That and salmon. So is is that is it like a breed then? Because Dungeness to me is a, a nuclear power station in the Thames estuary, and I wouldn't buy a crab from there if you paid me. Uh, Cat about the about the pasta. Um, Keith does normally buy pasta, even though you know he's got a he's got extensions for his machine, so he can make it. But he made it fresh yesterday and uh all day before and it took a right long time didn't it well i'm out of practice but i, I, was, but, I mean you are, why would you make it if you can if you can get the good stuff locally well i made it so i could have the pasta drying rack in the out of focus in the background with strips of pasta drying on it i meant if you were italian because if you're in italy presumably you can get the good stuff right <laughs> yeah yeah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Craft cheesy pasta on buttered toast. Mm. Well, we've really started something here. Come on, then, guilty pleasures. Come on. What is this? The the, the carb carb overload section. Yeah, yeah. It started a while back. There you go. <laughs> well, pasta, it's got, it's got pasta to be a, on toast. It's got, <laughs> it's got to be a Wigan kebab. What's what's the red box? No, you're supposed Do to say know? what's a Wigan kebab, Keithy. Oh, what's a Wigan kebab, Keithy? Say it louder. What's a Wigan kebab, Keefe? It's three pies in a balm cake. That's terrible. It is. What was it? No, what was that just now, babe? Can you go back a bit? Stop, 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 stop. Buttered toast. The red box. What's that? Oh, the craft uh, box design. I expect. Craft, oh. craft food. Oh, I, oh right. I, I, I think of. Um, oh no, it's dairy lead cheese, cheese triangles, isn't it? Right. Uh, no, well, cra craft crystal. is synonymous <laughs> with. Um, no answer to that. Mac and cheese in. Right, not yeah. Uh, right. So have a look. All right. Plus, can you? I'm looking at what Anna Lee Brown said to Jill twenty seven and <laughs> wondering what the context was. I said, "Oh right, Leah. Mm, okay." Uh, Klosky noodles. That's interesting. All right, Neil, the, the <laughs> April Fool spaghetti tree. I do indeed remember that. It's, uh, uh, it's brilliant. Did you do you remember that? 
long time ago. Is, yes, uh, the spaghetti harvest. Spoof when oh, yes. ignorant Brits who barely knew what spaghetti was. Um, if you did know it, you, you thought it kept, it was like an inch long and it came in a tin with Heinz on the outside and tomato sauce, this uh, overcooked pasta. Mm. Tell, tell me, do you know what uh, crab rangoon is? No. Hang on, back up. Uh, nuclear... There nuclear we go. Crab. Jeffrey Weldon. Dungeness crab. So crab rangoon, what's that? Uh, no. Yeah. That's the food. Yeah, Keith cooks it, I eat it. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> or not. Back up a bit. Sorry, oh yeah. Gardening. Da, 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 da. No she could... Yeah, um it, it doesn't work very well when I when I cook. I mean I can actually cook, but me and Keith in the kitchen at the same time, me cooking and him filming that's probably not a good idea oh i did some cooking though right i'm going i'll be back in a minute with my cooking uh, yeah oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, david white yeah we lived in in madrid um but came back here about uh, four years ago um and we were in madrid for seven years before that we were in dubai for 13 years so yeah uh, <laughs> uh sue rose bay fried mush well mm. Okay. Is this fried mush? Onions, carrots, celery, okay. Leftover chicken, lots of broth. And yeah, yeah, sounds sounds okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Patrick. Yeah. Crab crab rangoon is crab meat and cream cheese in a pot sticker, a noodle, like a dim sum sort of thing. All right. That's okay, babes. Visual aids. Here oh, we go. Out. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, well, this so is... Keith, Keith made tagliatelle, and some of it... <laughs> oh. So, I mean... It, uh, oh. Has stayed intact. What are you doing? I don't know, but... It was a rack she, she, she smashed it all up and put it on top, and can you move it out of the way, because we have... I'm going now. <laughs> I just wanted them to see... <laughs> the homemade stuff! Yeah. Oh, look, look, see, 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 see. So, so you make your own and it dries. Let go. Let go. <laughs> there you go, homemade pasta. Fun for all the family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except me. Um, okay. Uh, 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 right. <sighs> <laughs> Got some escaped tagliatelle. Here we go. No. Oh, don't cry. Right, I'm going to show my cooking now. No, you're not. Let's come on with two pages behind. It's all right. Look. So. Uh, Neil Pie, BBQ, Pit Boys. Yeah. Um, very professional. For the birds. Um, dangerous crap. Uh, Alex Runnell. Hello. And Joe Lethbridge. Hello. Um, uh, hello, Alex. Hello, Joe. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm too hungry now. Um, I've got to go eat. Uh, uh, I'm with, I, I, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, me trying to apologize. In the thing, no, probably, yeah, sorry, <laughs> what you had a friend. Anna Lee Brown had a friend from Wisconsin. She would call a light bulb a light blub. And why was she? Why was she saying it wrong? 
I don't know. I, I, I knew a guy once who always called the colour magenta magneta. Uh, it's, it's just maybe a bit of um, dyslexia, I suppose. Uh, Yeah, Joan Strine making pasta by hand. I, I I tried that a few times, but I could really never roll it out thin enough. And the machine is, uh, you know, makes a huge difference. And and especially once you've got your sheets and you just whack them through to turn them into uh, strips like um, telly telly or uh, thinner things like spaghetti. Brilliant. Um, uh, oh dear. Uh, Jeff Weldon does doing food prep on the countertop. Play havoc with your knives. Um, no, I I always use a, a, a cutting board. I, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't ever use a sharp knife directly on a on a hard tabletop sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> she called the water fountain a bubbler. Is is this because um Wisconsin people have a weird way of talking? I don't know. Uh, oh I yeah uh, if we're getting into the differences between UK English and American English. Um, we, we'll be here for weeks, <laughs> and we'll still not agree. Uh, <laughs> sausage casserole. Uh, I could do with a casserole. But <laughs> um, yeah. David White been working in shipyard in Dubai for a few years. Is that a new thing? I'm, there was the dry docks, and there was um, uh, McDermott, J. Ray McDermott, making oil rigs. I don't know about making anybody making ships. Um, Anna Lee Brown, Lost in the Pond, not heard of it now. What is it? Cat. You hate British weather, don't we all? But grey, grey isn't. Well, grey is the norm, yeah. But um, we've we've had a few sunny days, and um, yeah. Uh, Jeff Weldon, Brit friend. Why do we pronounce? Well, that, yeah, that is interesting. Um, obviously, uh, <laughs> Brits developed the language. We actually stole it from about six other different ones. Um, but the way that some Americans uh, speak um, actually goes back to the way that English was spoken in Britain two or three hundred years ago when when, when they left, um, or, yeah, uh, to, to uh, you know, colonize the new world. And, and so they, they kept the English that they spoke derived from that at that time and went off in a different way and we went off in another way um so uh cats uh no i think there is a basic level of knife knife quality um but uh yeah um, Anna Lee Brown, your husband needs needs some Scotch eggs. <laughs> uh, well, have you seen my video? It's it's not actually easy, you know. It takes quite a bit of practice. Um, uh, <laughs> aluminium. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I think the the reason that the the eye from aluminium and the U from colour got dropped was because, uh, was it George Washington? It, it was some big name old American dude uh, made a dictionary and 
he just wanted to simplify spelling so that you know it would make sense to people who weren't very well educated uh which is fine you know i mean <laughs> some things go on in english that are just uh mad um and contradictory and don't make any sense they're not logical but um so yeah that's that's how the um aluminum came about and uh color without a u um yeah it's fascinating oh uh, david white charger good old charger oh, is it still dry i expect so <laughs> Uh, Ken Ken Hulo uh, jelly jelly deals. You you get it in London um, in uh, East End pie shops. Uh, I've never tried it. I, it doesn't appeal. It doesn't sound appealing at all. Um, and <laughs> Alex, never forget the long Scotch egg. Indeed, Neil Pie aluminium is an alloy. No, it isn't. Um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, Anna Tampero, thank you. Yeah, the, the dictionary was Webster, Daniel Webster at Harvard. Well, you know, what would he know being at Harvard? Hmm. <laughs> uh, Anna Lee Brown, uh, eggs in a monk pan. Just a, <laughs> that must have been about a million eggs. Good grief. Um, <laughs> uh yeah cat well um it's like anywhere uh the 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 quality the, the, the depends on uh the level of education and whatnot um tomato or tomato yeah oh I like that karen daly my friend's mum couldn't say Toblerone, she called them Dola Bones. <laughs> uh, um, how to bread the long scotch egg without making a colossal mess? No, if, once you get into long eggs, you, you're... Uh, you are in into the realm of colossal mess anyway whatever you do um <laughs> uh, oh well <laughs> annalee brown hoosiers just call them maders tomatoes yeah that's good um uh Boffin Grusky. Hello, Boffin Grusky. In the States, and I'd like to know why the little glass bottle of Bovril is different from the larger squeezy bottle. And I can't actually answer that other than glass isn't squeezy and a squeezy is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, very clever. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. You say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, um, I, uh, yeah, we've got some tomatoes in. We're fingers crossed. We, we usually get a decent amount of tomatoes, but we quite often don't bother to pick them or don't manage to pick them at the right time. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, dear. Eggs to Anna. <laughs> By the uh, egg, the internet egg transfer interface, which is going to be invented any minute now, I'm sure. So, uh, why are we talking about bazookas, Ken? Rocket launchers. I missed all that. Uh, hello, madam. Hello, okay. Have you got chocolate? Pardon? Have you got chocolate? 
Okay. Uh, pota oh, potato guns. All right. J um, Did you mention the water pistol? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, Joe Strine stimulus checks. No, not like that. But um, people who've been furloughed are having 80% of their salary, the regular salary, paid by the government or paid to your employer to pay to you or whatever. Yeah, that works. Um, uh, as long as I get paid at the end of the month. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jeff, bazooka is a brand of bubble gum. I remember mm, that. Really? really? Yeah, the like big circular mm. thing wrapped in a twist of waxy paper. Mm. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, lollipops called chupa chups. Chupa chups. No, that was Spanish. That was in Spanish. I was going to say, as soon as I said it, I thought that doesn't sound English. <laughs> Sucky sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chupa. Chupito. What's chupito? Is it a snack? It's a little suck. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> in Finland, we call pineapple ananas. Yeah. And um, one friend has this saying, ananas, bananas, since they sound the same as tomato, tomato. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah anana is the French as well for, for pineapple. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, and uh, I've got, uh, I have a book. Well, I've got one book on keeping chickens and one on keeping ducks because we had plans some time ago to set up on our, our Todd in the countryside a bit. But um, life didn't go that way. <laughs> so I've got the books, but I'm going to have to clear them out now. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Neil, I think Gardener's Delight is what I got from Wix. Um, the Builder's Merchant. Um, look. But I'm waiting for Whiteley's, the local farm shop, where we went the other day and got some more manure. Yes! Um, waiting for them to have some tomatoes. The, the, little, the little tiny tumbling ones. Um, possibly tumbling Tom um, ready because I'm but I'm growing things in the greenhouse at the moment. I'm sowing things that should be sown outdoors at this time of year, but the weather has been strange. We've got we've got wind coming from I think the north the northwest, and it's been, it's been blowing for days, absolutely days, and it keeps blowing cloud over, and you get grey cloud, but then you don't get any rain, so. The long-range weather forecast is uh, showers next Thursday. So I've actually been watering, even though it's uh, been sort of sunny and cloudy. I mean, cloudy and windy. It's drying <laughs> the soil out. Right. Yeah, it's okay, we've got six million threads going on here. Uh-huh. Um, so, well, maybe three. Uh, what, hmm. what holiday is it that's coming up, Joan? three-day holiday in the States. Oh, uh, I've never even heard of great tomatoes, Jill. Yeah. I'm thinking... Me neither. Cherry tomatoes, but... Are they smaller than cherries? Finding and naming. <laughs> Look. Oh, cat. Oh, oh. <laughs> you don't know much about chickens. <laughs> I only know because I've been reading about it. But um, they they have real individual personalities. Oh, if you don't lay eggs. Yeah, but if because of pensioners. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well exterminate them. There's a policy somewhere. In there. <laughs> but yeah, I, I um, I think if you're, I don't know, Anna, are you actually attached to your? Chickens as like individuals, because uh, I think a lot of people do get that way. Ah, oh, Memorial Day. There we go. Right. Uh... <laughs> yeah, and great. It does look like a pineapple. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, answer crag ones. Yeah, uh, my my tomatoes were actually all right last year. Not brilliant, but they were okay. 
Mm. And that was it. William Bloomfield, hello. Hello. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Uh, <laughs> oh, one for you from Jeff Weldon. Oh, bless. Well, I've either just got back from work and I'm wearing my work clothes. Um, <laughs> or you've just or I'm case got I'm out like... of bed and got dressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or I've just dashed off and found a mirror. <laughs> And sort of like removed gardening gear, put on something nice at least on top, <laughs> and brush my hair. <laughs> so there you right, go. Jill, Twenty-seven great tomatoes, are smaller shaped like grapes. Well, get away. Um, never seen those. Because uh, they don't really. I've never seen tomatoes grown in clusters. Um, yeah. Because the vine is is long, and you get two tomatoes off yeah, each side of it. We'll have a look. See. Uh, oh, I, uh, you're in Finland, right? You need to be in Italy if you want to grow up on tomatoes. Or you need to do it indoors. But honestly, if you've, uh, if you're living in a house rather than an apartment, or if you're living in an apartment that's got glass doors onto a balcony, <laughs> you could put grow bags in your house. Right. It's just having space. It's, uh, Oh, 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 sorry, Anna Lee Brown. I mean, there's four left who haven't died, and we've named them. There you and go. I'm thinking, you've, you are we still you. talking about tomatoes? Chickens. Or <laughs> Chickens. <eggs? laughs> yeah, and they have these personalities. They're, yeah. they're sods like that, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Um. Hi, Samantha. <laughs> oh, Bob. <laughs> Silly as sodders. There you go. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, you kind of walked into the middle of it, Samantha. We've been discussing chickens and uh, growing tomatoes. tomatoes. Great so tomatoes and eggs. Right. Uh, uh, and, yeah. There you go. Hello, Deborah. So, hello, to Deborah. She said, hello, to you. I'm busy. Oh. <laughs> hello, Deborah. <laughs> Hanging tomato gadgets. Ah. Are you talking about um, like hanging baskets? And you just grow the tomatoes there, and they come down. If if they've been bred for it, but maybe you talk about something else. I don't know about. Mm. Oh wow! A chicken that comes visiting. We've yeah. got a squirrel. Keith has named it. You'll never guess what it's called. But you can try. Squirrel. <laughs> Now you just you just spoil that one, <laughs> but it, it it comes and it comes and attacks our seed feeder. And Keith was admiring its technique the other day. He hangs um, upside down to get to it, and then and then it kind of opens up, and then he can get down and stand on it and scoop out the seeds so they drop on the floor, and then he jumps on the floor and then he gets them. Yes, we're gonna have a fine crop of sunflowers next year and pumpkins. Oh, and everything again. <laughs> Right, I have a lot of turkeys. Good. Uh huh. Um, what yeah. you've Jill, do you keep turkeys? Oh, oh, <clears throat> just ignore me. <laughs> it's all right. You know me. Closed brain before opening mouth. Right. Oh, I don't uh, Aya, if you're having trouble germinating them indoors, you could just do the cheat. Just, I mean, I've I've never actually grown tomatoes from seed. Um, I'll go to a nursery or a supermarket sometimes do them as well. Uh, garden centres, obviously. Um, and just what I normally do is I've got I've, I've got my grow bag, and I'll plant three tomato plants in there, and then. Um, I'll sometimes just lift it and put it on top of another one, punch a hole in the bottom of the top one, you know. So they're growing the roots all the way down. But, uh, yeah, you should be able to do it. Uh, okay, uh, Anna Lee Brown, Big League Chew, though. What was that? Big League Probably Chew. Probably turkey, no. Oh, is that kind of Sand, chewing uh, Bazooka, ah, bazooka. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realise it was a brand or it was like uh, 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 an evaluation of chewing gum. Yeah. Uh, Rosalind Martin with a load of reconstituted dried mushroom, dried mushroom pieces. I I think... Um, Creamy soup with, with beef in it. Yeah. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yeah, cat, you got it. <laughs> uh, so the squirrel has the mm. one. Very original. Yeah, dried mushroom pieces. So I think as long as you've got um, some salt and pepper oh, to bring put, out the flavour. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah. Neil Pye put some Vaseline on, on the, the feeder pole. That's not nice. That would have just ruined all our fun. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I'm quite, well, I really do enjoy watching Cyril get up to his antics. And I can occasionally think I'll drag a camera out there and try and, you know, uh, video it. But um, you have to do a remote, I think. You know what they're like. Yeah. Well, I can do the remote through my iPad. Oh, right. Uh, but it's just getting there, getting it all set up, and then retiring. And waiting. It's so no, in fact, in what case I need comes that day. Not really. <laughs> uh, what I need is a, a, a motion trigger sensor thing. So I might have to Arduino E5 one ish sort of thing. Or get a drone. It would be ridiculous. <laughs> right. Ooh. Ali Brown, that sounds perfect, yeah. White beans, mash, mashed white be mashed white beans, cream, and the mushrooms with some bacon pancetta, yes. Oh, that does sound nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Joan Strine, a guy on YouTube, plants a slice of tomato and gets plant out of it. I know that guy. It's, uh, it's cheating. They don't really do it. For real? <laughs> no, I'm talking Tosh. <laughs> Cindy, squirrel, a squirrel. That's right. Oh, cat, that's lovely. Yeah, I've got so much greenery in the house. <laughs> trying, oh. to, trying to keep it out of our hair when we're brushing yeah. our teeth. <laughs> Big League Chew comes in a pouch like chewing tobacco and it's in shreds. Like, oh, yeah. right. We used to get something like that, didn't we? I never saw that. Um, Fireman's hoses. No, and time. we actually had candy cigarettes. They, they were just like... Oh, yeah, you, you could get toy cigarettes, couldn't you? Yeah. And, yeah. God. <laughs> Funny how that got taken away. Just don't think about it, darling. <laughs> it's coming up for six months and he hasn't had a cigarette. <laughs> or a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Or anything. <laughs> God, can you imagine that they used to do uh, sweet cigarettes? It's yeah. Get them hooked early. My goodness. And it was just normal to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and cider lollies as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I liked those. <laughs> well, <that's> Bob. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Where's Bob? <laughs> my, my, my wife was crying this past Christmas preparing the jerky. She said, I've plucked it and I've stuffed it, but I haven't the heart to kill it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, hello, William. My name is Mrs. Keith Cooks. <laughs> there you go. That's who I am. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow. Anna Lee Brown says, my friend just scrapes tomato seeds out of her store-bought tomatoes and grows new plants. Fair enough. That's magic. It's definitely wow. worth trying. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, uh, yeah, we had a, a yellow pepper that was just, you know, we just weren't eating. So in the end, I just stuck it in the, uh, in the, in the compost. Sorry, not the compost, but um, some growing compost in a pot. And I'm waiting to see if any of those seeds germinate. You never mm. know what's been treated, um, so that it won't. Yeah. You can try it. Uh, Jeff Weldon, slow cooker lasagna. No. I never have. Um, I don't know why. Never ever thought of it. No. I would have thought it'd be an absolute swine to get out of the pot. You know, yeah. you normally make lasagna in something rectangular or oval that's easy to get to. That's just my thinking, that's all. 
Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, Rosalind, the, the other day, um, Keith cooked something with or a lot of beans. Um, it was just, you know, a tin of something that I bought goodness knows when and just left in the back of the cupboard. I really liked it. I really did. Oh, that's a shame because I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it was it was a hoopy <laughs> thing. You put all Oh, I just made things. sort of simulated baked beans. Yeah. This is tomato. Oh, that's when we had the conversation and, about mm, uh, passata and tomatoes and, and whatnot. Yeah, I was raving about this. Oh, that's right, because you did all the onions and the mushrooms and so you had it all moist. Yeah, that, that was lovely. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, okay, candy cigarettes are red tip. Yep. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I usually, uh, sorry, the if I want uh, organic stuff, um, I tend to order online. But uh, say that I've said before that uh, our local place, Whiteley's, that it's so good now, it's worthwhile. Just I just wait because apart from anything else, we can see their fields. We can see them working so hard to get it all right. And when we went in there yesterday, and um, uh, I went into one of the polytunnels that wasn't where the plants weren't ready yet, and there was just rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of these multi-pack plant pot things, each with a little plant of seedling coming up. I mean, the work they put in, and we got we got honey, didn't we, from we did. their bees? So. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Because, uh, but you know, I, I have uh, psoriasis and, and my skin flares up now and again. And um, and you asked uh, if she had a, uh, why? Why were you talking about? Oh, she was just it was just at the point Honey. where she said anything else, and I said, well, I tell you what, Keith's shaved, he's grazed his skin. Um, have you got anything that would be soothing on that? Um, and she said, honey, because of course it's got antiseptic quality, but she said herself, um, when her skin's been sore, I mean, she's working out of doors at times, you know, she's she's put that on that and it, and it helps. I mean, um, what did you think of it? I know it, it felt funny and I absolutely refused to lick his face. I didn't care what he said. Well, but... <laughs> I, I just had a sticky face for the whole of the day. Did it make, <laughs> well, no. did it make it feel better? No. Well, no, it didn't feel bad. It just looked awful. Yeah, so but I mean, still... did it did it actually make? I'm I'm saying, did putting the honey on it actually make your skin maybe tingle up first and then no, feel no, better? Or no, no, no. 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 Oh, well. Anyway, uh, yeah. Uh... I uh, Bisto Bisto gravy. Was it Rosalind Bisto Browns Bisto Thickens? Oh, William Bisto Bloom. seasons all in one go. He's anyway. doing a full English breakfast in prime. My God. Well, good luck uh, yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, licorice pipes and the. Um, oh, right. Licorice pipes with red sprinkles for the glow. I never saw those. No, I don't think no. they have those. Um, mm. Yeah. Okay. Do -do 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 <laughs> yeah, Bob. <laughs> don't give up the day well, job. Where are we? <laughs> Uh, Andrew, um, <laughs> there. I actually get my uh, plants from an organic. I mean, organic is in the name, um, and the Whiteleys doesn't claim to be organic, but I just know that they look after their plants. So. so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, people. So, have you seen what Anna, lit, Anna put? Honey can cure staphylococcus infections. I thought you were being friendly. I thought you were going, honey! <laughs> I thought you the sentence. I thought, that doesn't make sense. What am I doing on my chair? I do not know. All right, let's have a look, see. Hang on. Cindy, impromptu sketch on a napkin. I've missed that conversation. You and Henry can. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the long egg wrap. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, you know, yes, you do. That, that, I know the chips and peas kid, and mushy peas here no, no, with no, spaghetti no. ball some, on your yeah, yeah, some no, somebody else did. Oh, yeah, no, and, that uh, would be a waste if you did that. That that was brilliant. The one that they that they sent yeah, in. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, there's, just, there's no way you can do that live. Oh, <laughs> but wasn't it brilliant? I mean, long egg, and, long, and egg, it was... long egg, long egg, long egg, long egg, long egg, long egg, long egg. No. <laughs> One, da, 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 two, da, 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 da. But it's funny though, is it? I mean, they use the rhythm of your speech, yeah, and then just put it all together. I thought that's real clever. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness! So, a brown recluse spider. Where do you get those? I don't think we get them in England. Hell's teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cat Cymru's put, I do almost all my cooking from scratch, which puts me in mind of um, Saturday Live, which I listened to the pop podcast of today. And um, Kathy, oh, Kathy Bates, um, she was she was talking about, uh, hang on, was it her? Do, 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 do. Yeah. She was going to get a tattoo of the Clash. She absolutely adored the Clash when she was at school. And uh, one day she was cutting through, I think, King's Cross Station, which you could do then to get to wherever she was going. And she saw them. They were actually waiting for a train. They were going off to do something or other. And she thought, oh, God, I can't, I can't ask them for their autograph because it's just the most uncool thing you know but um in the end she she just thought i've got to so she went up Brilliant. to them and she said um no no what was it it was something like well are you gonna give us your autograph then just you know so you can say you've done it because <laughs> she was trying to do it in a cool way uh -huh. but she also said to them um she scratch this is where it comes from she scratched uh, the clash into her arm and I think she'd done it with Byro or something and she was going she she told them that she was going to go and get this done properly with Indian ink or she was going to do it with Indian ink something like that and um, and the the leader of the clash what's his name just sure yeah he said to her no don't do that not certainly not in my name don't do that it's a really bad idea yeah and so you know um is it turn i get a proper tattoo <laughs> well it's just um the 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 sashi alive people were well impressed with you know this guy with this <laughs> sensible <laughs> punk, person punk guy <laughs> he, <laughs> giving, he had, giving her safe you know he, he had a bit of a connection with spain joe strummer uh -huh. uh, there's a square in Malaga, I think, named for him. Oh, wow. Joe Strummer Square. Uh, well, Plata de Joe Strummer. <laughs> right. um, so that's in the States. Yeah, right. Lost, lost the plot now. Um, who on earth figured out uh, how or why to make a long egg? Good question, Jeff. Um, there was a machine. Uh, I don't know why they decided to do it, but um, obviously... When you make a gala pie or a, an egg salad, you want all your egg to be the same proportion of yolk to white. So I think it was a Danish industrial machine was developed. And, uh, yeah, the rest is history. Uh, recluse, brown recluse spiders in Washington. Yeah. yeah state. And in the Hoosier state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um Wild natural raw honey. Yeah, I bet it's the best, got? but I don't. No, no, they they have hives. But I think. Yeah, I know. So. So, so what's the... no, wild honey is when they. The well, you just pull it off the bee. And, yeah, that's, <laughs> right. I think I'd be inclined to leave yeah. that to the bees. Uh, what have you got in your glass, Keith? Uh, Coastal <laughs> Brewery. Dis it's inside out. Why is it inside out? Oh, it always is. Okay. Is it? Does it look inside out from the other side? Guys? <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, Kirkstall Brewery is, uh, well, Kirkstall has um, a ruined abbey. Dissolution so IP. All of their um, booze is uh, is based around the abbey kind of theme. So the dissolution of the monasteries. That. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's that other one I've got? Three swords. Yeah. Yes. And. What I've got is water in an old speckled hen glass because I like them. <laughs> and for some reason, old speckled hen glasses have a fox on the side. There it is. Yeah. Uh, um, and so the three swords was from the coat of arms of the abbey. So there you go. Ooh, wow. Uh, Home Where from Utah, open your suitcase, Black Widow Spider inside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll read what Bob said. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um we mentioned earlier we watched the Eurovision Song Contest and Conchita. Obviously, Con yes. Conchita Sausage had to be in it. Uh so <laughs> Conchita Worst. Oh, right, yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Nobody's talking to us now. No, <laughs> oh, have we scared them <laughs> off? Oh, oh no, look, there. there's pages more. Right, let's yeah. have a look. Kid, uh, little wasps. Cool. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know about those. Neil, um, he may have gone to public school because that's where his parents sent him, but that doesn't stop him being a punk. He's just a posh punk. I would have thought. It was like, yeah, because uh, Kathy, uh, Kathy Bates doesn't sound right. She was, she was saying her uh, her parents sent her to a convent school, and uh, she hated it. She came from a, you know, she in her home life, she was surrounded by males, and suddenly finding herself in the girls' school was just, oh, she did not like that at all. But, uh, had to get on with it, mm. right. right. Uh, Rosalind Martin, yeah, it's beer. Oh, good, and the bottle looks okay. That's all right. Oh, that's the right way around. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I, I only actually got into IPAs when I came back from Spain because, uh, well, when we left the UK, and well, you know, since the, the 70s and the 80s, the brewing industry was consolidating and becoming monolithic. And the, it ended up there were five big brewer, breweries who just swallowed up everything. And, um, you know, they, they, they were destroyed. The, the quality of the beer was going down and down and down and down. And it was just bloody awful. Um, and... So it's it's brilliant that you know uh, there was camera the campaign for real ale and they've won you know so uh, when we used to live I in mean, Liverpool you, <laughs> when the wind was in the right direction the uh, the smell case. from the Higson's Brewery yeah coming out of is is, is is Higson still going or is it independent or taken over or? it's it probably still exists as a name that's brewed by Whitbread mm -hmm. you know Whitbread brew so many <laughs> so many names um but uh yeah uh, lally, lally, lally. Oh, watermelon ipa mm. all right uh, yeah so yeah that's why i started on that uh ipa india pale ale um yeah and craft ales in general fantastic so oh, just just skip Bob. No, Bob, really. I'm with Ken on this one. No. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. okay. uh -huh. Got any more? Uh nope. We're at the bottom. All you right, okay, that's the end. Right. All right, there you go. You can go back to having ha having your Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Beer cookery. What we're gonna knock it off. No, <laughs> not really. I'm not really. Not really. So this is this is as far as I've got. So oh. I didn't want um, to use the political map because I think it's, well, it's got yeah. too many lines on it for a start. 
But yeah, right, I'm going to start with Ken because Ken's easiest. Right, Ken? <laughs> okay, people, there's Malaysia. And that, they're right there. Okay. So, there's, yeah. And so, who was, now we've got somebody who was on last week. It was somebody who was living in Saudi who was on last week. Was somebody in Murdiff in the UAE was on last week. And, uh, oh, yeah, there were the people who wrote after the after the, the live stream because it was the middle of the night when you were on. And they, so we had, so, I think there were three people from Australia okay. who were commenting on this afterwards. So put that in. I haven't heard anybody from uh, Tasmania, so I haven't put the devil in. Right. Oh. <laughs> that being enough. Right, Aya, there's yours. There you go. See? And... And what have we got here? So, uh, Netherlands, UK, ERA, uh, France, Italy, España. So, anybody from Italy today? I don't think we have. And there we go. Uh, we haven't got anybody from South America who comes on, but plenty from North America, the continent, and the country, of course, of Canada. Well, Russell so Gibbon is shouting Mexico. Mexico. Russell, are you in Mexico? Come on, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Russell Gibbon is in Mexico. There you go. Uh, uh, Anna Lee uh, Brown's a homeschool man. Well, right. Let's... Fortunately, we're 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 past that stage, uh, so. Can you imagine if we had to do that? Well, you're a teacher, so it'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. My arm's getting sore. Is it? We can put that down if you like, because I'm sure <laughs> nobody's looking at it. <laughs> so, okay, there we are. I had to be so careful, you know, when I was sticking these flag stickers on. <laughs> You get them upside down when there's three Ooh. stripes. Boy, have you got trouble. Right yeah. there is Mexico. Don't try and do a British one. Do it, do it to the side of <laughs> Mexico. There we go. Uh, right. Yeah, Jeff Weldon, we only have the one the one child, <laughs> one son, who gave us the KitchenAid. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and the pasta rollers and cookers. Um, Rosalie Martin, beef in dark ale. Yes, and why not? And uh, why? What we're putting down in Mexico? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm I'm doing stickers now. You carry on talking to folks. No, um, <laughs> Jill twenty seven wants to know where's the USA flag. Didn't see it. Okay, well you'll have to. Well, I can't see the screen. Oh, I'm sure she can see it. It's it's there uh, with. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's below that. the Canadian beaver, to the left of the coyote, to the right of the coyote, and north of the eagle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Righty ho. And just under the hoosier. <laughs> I tell you what, this is this is in laugh improving my geography. You know, it's, it was really embarrassing. It was like, okay, which which country is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's in Scotland, isn't it? No, it's not. No. Actually, it's in North America. It's like, okay. Anna, Anna Cortez. <laughs> Cat, no. Well, I'm looking for Mexico. Just lowered the tone there. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> nice one, Bob. <laughs> did she take your surname? <laughs> or did you take hers? Because if you did that, B. then that's another thing in common. Oh, Bolivia's looking good. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. I'm not even sure what this animal is. So you have, to, you have to do talking and listening and being interesting. I'm, I'm doing... Um, <laughs> so, uh, I think everybody's tired here. Cindy Murata is now reduced to just typing numbers. Right. I can do that. Well, we can knock it on the head this week if you like, because I think... Oh, an actual cooking question, my love. Oh, um, um Jeff Weldon, uh, hot water pastry has, has pizza dough. Oh, no. Pie. Yeah. 
Um, but uh, we have uh, a pizza dough alternative coming up this week. This is the secret. Oh, yeah. He tried Over this out on the, the other morning. Oh, that is really good, and it's quick. So everybody who's short of time who has to feed loads of people, this is a good one. Yeah, Wonder Dean, hello. Uh, watching you guys from now. We talk Connecticut. Come on, stick it on the map. <laughs> You've got paper. <laughs> I must admit, I, I was struggling a bit to try and be interesting last week because uh, I just worn myself out. And basically, what I've done lately has been gardening. But uh, so this week, um, I'm fine. But again, it, it's just that's all I've really got to talk about. Um, but uh, I had an odd, odd couple of days actually. Um, I'd always wanted to, not always wanted to, but I thought it would be a good idea to work from home. And when I got the opportunity, I was pleased. And then, uh, as I've said before, uh, all the online stuff and connections and whatnot, it's a bit tricky. So I had two weeks on furlough after working three weeks at home. And then this past Tuesday was the start of the third week. And my manager phoned me up to see how I was getting on and make sure I was all right and didn't think they'd forgotten me. It was lovely. But then we got down to uh, me saying, have you got any thoughts about when we'll get back to work? And she said, it's looking like the end of June at the moment. And my, my head was fine with it, but uh, my emotional side wasn't. It's like I wasn't going to see my friends. I wasn't being with my friends and supporting them and whatnot. And uh, I just went into complete gloom for two days. I just I couldn't get myself out of it. You know, and again, my head's going, <sighs> you can garden, you can write, you can, you can do all sorts of things that you wanted to do. So I said, yeah, I'm right. fine with it now, but it was, some it, was, it was a shock. Um, that right, um, okay. Um, a uh, beef hot dogs, beef hot Have dogs, I heard beef hot dogs. No, yeah, they're normally not, normally not pork, yeah, yeah not beef. Anyway, uh, Crystal Hunt, what is you guys' favorite food? Bacon, how many times can I say Stilton? Stilton, <laughs> except for that Stilton you got the other week, which was rem. All right, um, cat tried his. A supermarket orangey pie. I've never seen one for sale. All oh, right. Like baby puke is that icon, I suppose. Because <laughs> you, you've never tried eating baby, have you? It was... <laughs> you won't let me. I like seeing you interact with people. What's that? Oh, we were threatening to knock it on the head unless people... Oh, right. Ah, <laughs> Thanks, some questions Neil. We oh, were is that one of his jokes? So... <laughs> uh, it could be, it could be, it could be. Uh, Never make pizza dough how you want it. Um, well, sorry about that. Um, well, hang on, because last week we were saying Keith had made two different kinds of of pizza uh, with the same the same dough that he'd used. So, what what do you want to achieve? What will make you happy? Do you want fluffy? Do you want thin? Uh, maybe maybe you can come up with something to help. Uh, oh, and what's I'm just writing down Jean Marie Grobola. There was a, a Liverpool goalie, Bruce. Yeah, yeah, um, related. It's a South African name, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, uh, tiddly -tiddly. Oh, hello there, Kimberly. No, sorry, hello, Jean Marie. <laughs> Jean Marie. No, it's a woman. Jean. Jean. Well, whatever. No, Jean. So Jean Marie Gro Grobola in, in Kimberley, not Kimberley. Sorry, Kimberley. Uh, no, Cindy. Sorry, Jean Marie. Um, what was going to say? So Jeffrey Weldon says pizza dough. So bread flour, water, yeast, and there you go. So what's going wrong? Oh, she's down there, down the bottom. Can you just take mm. it down a bit? It just never tastes how I want. Like, yeah. Come on then, what is it that you want? Do you do you want fluffy? Do you want thin? What do you want to do? So the whole meal or white? <sighs> okay, Anna, Anna, Anna Lee Brown, Hobbity Pie, Hobbity Pie is a uh, what British wartime dish. Uh and basically what was it? Is it cheese, potatoes, onions? 
it's, yeah, a, it's, it's a veggie dish and it's not a real it's, pie. It's, uh, it's, it's a really tart nice. without a lid. It's fab. It's it very, really very nice, is. yeah. Um, uh, William Bloomfield, my Pinterest. Oh, my paintings. Yeah, I've... Ah, uh, Gila Monster. Sorry, I've just been trying to work out what that creature was uh, in <laughs> Mexico, and it's a Gila Monster. Thank you. Okay. Right, painting. You haven't been doing any for a while, have you? No, it's uh, it's been quite a while. I think you got and fed up with the last one that you were doing, and you just weren't pleased I'm, with the outcome, so... I oh, I did, yeah, that palace, he, he went, the queen... He went it's, over it and over it and over it, and not over it, there over were it bits adding of it and alike. adding and adding and adding, and then he was so <laughs> fed up, it just put him off. But, yeah, way. I think I, I put too much things in my in my pictures, my paintings, and I need to discipline myself. But what... Oh. And, um, yeah, yeah, I'll get back on it. Uh... Uh, Kat says homage pie is also called Devon pie. Yeah, apparently, it, it, it was right. was a thing in Devon. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that's gonna... <sighs> Bacon and stilton okay. go well together. I think so. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, anybody? Are you reading Bob? Bob, Bob saying about. Domino's pizza. I, I used, <laughs> oh, dear, I, I used oh, to have dear. this thing where I'd, I'd go into uh, uh, <laughs> into a barber's and eventually I'm sitting in the seat and they say, well, what are we doing? I said, I want a haircut, please. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, they took all the hair off this side of his head. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. Speaking of which, I'm due for a haircut. <laughs> That's not how you do it. I love him as Fluffy Kins, the husband. That's I'm not when... supposed to say that on camera, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend that didn't happen. Um, right, okay, come on. See if you can help Anna. Right, other folks are as well. Let's look. So, Jeffrey's suggesting using 7-Up instead of water. So, I guess for low. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah. But... There we go. She says she wants it to taste like pizza dough, not bread. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you've got crazy expectations. Well, no. Um, is it taste or is it texture? I mean, they, you know, they're, they're very, very, very similar. No, but she wants taste. But so, I mean, what goes what goes into pizza dough? Flour, water, yeast. So, is there any oil in it? Salt. Bit, bit of oil. Okay, and what but goes also, into bread? Same things. Do you put oil in bread? Bit. Oh, okay. Um, but it's you know bread rises more and for longer and has bubbles and holes in it and stuff. Mm. You never had a ponytail, did you? Did you? No. Before I met you. No. Uh, Cindy Murata, yeah, we we believe you. <laughs> about your number two butt dial. <laughs> I like Jeff Weldon and his pig's feet. <laughs> the happy butcher. Okay. What? Go Random butt dial. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Um. <laughs> Those <were> your fingers. <laughs> Oh dear, right. Oh yeah. Jeff Weldon <laughs> says we used to call the butcher shop and asked if he had pig's feet. He would say yes, and we would say, How do you buy shoes? <laughs> My dog's got no nose. How does he smell? Terrible. There we go. There you go. Right. Uh John Strain, um, thank you and good night. <laughs> <laughs> As they say, after all, the best comedians. Right. Uh, no, beef hot dogs. No, I've never seen a beef hot yeah. dog. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I've got a beautiful laugh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Uh, on traditional basis. Yeah, Anna. All so, right. See, see what... I did one on uh, cauliflower crust um, about six months ago. Oh, yeah. That was weird. Yeah, it's nice. Well, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, flowers would make a difference. 
Well, cat, well, dive it and see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting to Anna. Jeffrey Weldon, is your refrigerator running? Well, you'd better go and catch it. <laughs> heck. Uh, Honestly. Yeah, plain old pubs. Mind you, wasn't that the day you said, oh, I found this double O in the cupboard? What oh, flour oh, do you use? There. No, but what flour do you use for your pizza dough? No, that's for pasta. Oh, right. Oh, of course, yeah, you're making telly won't yeah, you? Yeah, for pizza, I'll just use plain. Yep, there we go. Mm. Uh, I think Anna, it's just... <laughs> just what? Practice. I'm practicing the MRP or whatever it was. Meridian. ASMR. ASMR. Yeah, there was an N in it. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> that's whispering Bob Harris. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, that's not, you know, low. Who got it from <laughs> whispering Lewis. Bob Ross? Bob Ross. All right. Yes. Stop. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what has Neil gone? Neil, you got serious competition from Bob today. <laughs> Call the tobacconist and ask if he had. Oh no, hang on. I might ask that my mum asked the fishmonger for a pound of whale meat and you said, Can she have the head for the cat? <laughs> whale <laughs> meat again. <laughs> Don't know where. Don't know where. <laughs> yeah, can we not have tobacco jokes? Because six months, six months. No, I'm okay. What's the difference between AP flour and bread flour? All purpose flour and bread flour. Bread flour has more gluten in it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jill 27, can't do crank phone calls anymore because of caller ID. Joan, right. I've, done, I've done Zoom meetings, but um, um, they are an improvement on not being able to see anybody. But it does feel a bit like being in a lineup. And uh, uh, Do you know what? Um, uh, well, we were actually living in a different country from our son. Um, he used to uh, Skype us. And uh, I actually couldn't cope with it. I, I just found um, sitting there with a, an iPad and having to stay there in front of the screen all the time. I, I, I just felt, I don't know, imprisoned. Um, so I did this on the phone. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, my, uh, we, we do our, um, I do my weekly yoga class. It's now a Zoom thing. And it's a nightmare, yeah. Also, you know, you sort of <laughs> doing some impossible pose and, and the, the screen's behind you <laughs> and you're upside down. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Joan, how did you quit? I need to quit. Uh, smoking. Um, I just got to the end of a packet of tobacco and uh, I got to the end of my money for the month and I thought tobacco or food <laughs> food one <laughs> um, and you know that, that, that literally is basically it and um, and once I'd managed it uh, I still get craving you know, 10, 20 times a day. Because, um, I, I mean, especially with working from home, on his own most of the time, that was actually how you broke your day up, wasn't it? Not, well, yeah. Not consciously, but, you know, you stop, you go away from the screen. <sighs> yeah, go that. outside, have a smoke, come back, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, it was, you know, the craving comes and just, well, don't have any smokables in the house, right? Because if you if you're going to break down, that makes it too easy. Uh, you know, if you're going to break down, you actually have to act actively decide that you're going to go to the shop, and buy some cigarettes or tobacco or whatever, and do it. And um, 
learning your stuff. But um, we were this, this about is this the third, yeah, this we the third time I've tried to stop, and the previous two times I've, I've, I've given in after six months, and we're just coming up to six months now, I think. So uh, it's a dangerous time, but I'm not, I'm, you know. I, I think this time you've actually you've done it. I know. I know you said it's the same all the time. Because when he was telling me yesterday uh, about these cravings, he said, you know, that it, it comes and you just have to go. You have to push it away. And you didn't. You did actually like do the gesture. So it's because it, it's, it's a physical thing, isn't it? You know. Um. Well, yeah, it might be a chemical thing. No, but that's what I mean. It's but your body, it's, your body is, is, is going, used to getting Ow. a hit every every hour or whatever. Mm. Um, and then floozy comes along, going, "Hi, I can make you feel better," and you have to go, "Yeah," because no. yeah. <laughs> otherwise your wife will find out that you're big trouble. Uh, so, okay, Neil Pye. Okay. We're not going to ask if it gets easier because because we might not be ready for the answer yet. <laughs> yeah, it's just um, uh, it's it's a, it's a shame the craving doesn't doesn't go away. You know, if it did, then you know it'll be a double. But uh, yeah, um, Dragonstorm ninety two would definitely eat an edible baking soda volcano. Excellent. What have I missed? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, well, Do you put I think it in pizza? I've seen, I've seen a volcano birthday cake, and it's got some kind of... Oh, yeah, with the smoke coming out. Well, so, some, something with baking soda and, and mm. so, something that fizz, makes, makes it fizz over and disgusting stuff. Uh, right. If anybody wants to see Chris <laughs> the Butcher not naked with friends, then this is what's coming next. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have to say, Chris, I think two hours on a screen is, is enough for me. Yeah. So uh, I'm, um, I'm impressed with your stamina, mate. Uh, right. Anna Lee Brown, was it? Was I sick? Uh, is it, what, without without your cigarettes. What? Right? Did you get nausea? Or did or did it make you feel? Did it put you in bed? Uh, well, mm, no, no, it wasn't. It was. It was. Uh, but you, you, yeah, you were, you were. He was rolling his own, and it was, it was tobacco, wasn't it? And you, you didn't use filters or anything. Yeah. So, is there any difference between that in terms of, you know, that and shop bought cigarettes in terms of the amount of nicotine that's going into your body? Um. Well. Because I'm just wondering about her reaction there. Uh. Yeah. See, my my little rollies were literally little rollies. And um, we we did a thing one time where I would roll a cigarette, and my sister would. Uh, they were about as thick as the end of, <laughs> of as, as the bent they, end of the um, hair grip. They they were a bit thicker than that, but um, but my sister rolls her own, except she uses a machine, so they actually come out like well, actually like like a pencil diameter, um, and. Uh, Uh, filters and she okay. uses a filter, which is a good thing. But, um, there's actually a lot more tobacco in, in the ones that, that she has mm -hmm. than the ones that I have. So, I, I I think I wasn't really smoking that much, you know, in terms of actual individual things. I mean, well, a 50, gram, a 50 gram pouch would last me a week, basically. Um, mm -hmm. what that turns into in in, in terms of the number of actual ciggies, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, But you reckon you were spending, spending about £100 a month on it, didn't you? Um, you counted up. Well, it would actually be 88 But, yeah. £88 pounds a month. Yeah. <laughs> you can remember the price of the packets. Oh, babe. It was 22 <laughs> Yeah, 22 quid for a 500 gram, not 50 gram pouch. Um, so, yeah. uh, Andrew Shortland, try vaping. I well, I tried vaping. Please don't. No, no. Oh, oh no, I, could, I couldn't bear it. Go on, did you say you tried it? Well, so somebody that I knew had had a, a thing, and and I, I had a go. Okay, you didn't like it. Hurt my cough. 
Oh, it wouldn't be for real. <laughs> I mean, spe speaking as a non-smoker, you, you know, when you, you're walking along uh, on a crowded street, um, there's people walking ahead and they're smoking, you can you can sidestep or back away from cigarette smoke, but vaping, there's just this huge plume comes up. And it, it's just the very idea of walking into that and, and, yeah. and being obliged to inhale it, because otherwise, you know, you pass out. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, Oh dear. Anyway, oh. I'll shut up, shall I? Oh, Neil, the right. first two years was the hardest. Oh my god. Yeah. Ah, oh, good. We're back on pizza. Right. Okay. No one's not. Well, Bob, okay. Bob's not. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. Uh, my goodness, Anna. Well, can you not just cut down gradually, maybe? I'm sorry. I'm sure you've you've tried this. I'm sure you know what you're doing. But dear, oh dear. Uh, Dragonstorm 92, the Bedfordshire Clanger video. Thanks Look who's here. Else. Oh, okay, Christian. Yeah. Hello. Hello. So, um, right. Let's have a look. <laughs> roll them with a oh, ah, roll them with a $20 bill. That big stop, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> they don't taste very nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh right. No wonder you stayed off the evil weed, Neil. Crikey. Let's have a look. Well. Well, Joe, he's doing it. Go on. See if see if you can match him. So that means if she can stop for six months, you've got to keep it going for a whole six months as well another six months to get to the year so maybe you can help each other out i mean it's 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 a terrible addiction so don't underestimate how hard it is oh uh, yeah oh, Stuart Let's Reynolds see. hello <laughs> right we've got eight minutes Hi, left Stuart. <laughs> oh my goodness hasn't that flown by we were discussing knocking it on the head about about 45 minutes ago or something i think because we all kind of went a bit quiet and mm -hmm. then all perked up let's have a look yeah there you joe, go, joe. Well, listen so to neil as well don't maybe. drink either <laughs> you have... yeah babe <laughs> but i mean you, you find it you will have triggers which are you know that when i step out the back door I want a cigarette because that that's the trigger is I'm going outside for a smoke or I go in the in the in the shed um and yeah. you, you know but all, I, all I find as well that sometimes if like uh if you're if you're quite wound up and I can see you just not relaxing and you're just not sort of you, you can't clear your head from whatever you're doing you know I want to say why don't you just step out and I think I really can't do that you know <laughs> but uh, as you say it, it was it was your routine so I kind of expect to see him doing that and just staring at his face I think it's probably it probably helps that we have got Cyril popping in and like the one you're looking out the garden now well, I've, I've moved the um the bird feeders through to the back garden so we can see straight out of the kitchen window and see them but also there's a little tray on the ground and i put a pond in at the top so we've got all these different levels and so you've got the sparrows and the dunnocks and they're flitting madly between the different levels and trying the different kinds of feeder and going on the ground and then with with uh starlings have suddenly started appearing haven't they in the last few days yeah 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 and we had a crow up on the garage root roof opposite was contemplating lowering its dignity and then decided not to. And uh, the odd pigeon, and we're getting lots of blackbirds. And so now when Keith steps out or looks out the window, there's actually something quite entertaining going on. And I think, I don't know, <laughs> am I right in thinking that helps? Go on, just say no and shut me down. <laughs> No. Oh, I enjoy seeing those things, but I see them even better if I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Through that uh, nose. Okay. okay, Wonder okay. Dean. Uh, there it, you go. Jill's got it sussed for you. What? <laughs> Only go out the front door and stay away from the shed. Okay, <laughs> yes. Fine. Um, Wonder right. Dean, what is Chantix? I don't know. Uh -huh. um, oh, hello, Wonder Dean. Have you ever been on here before? 
It's a couple of names I oh, haven't seen hour. before. No, but no, before. From, um, from Naugatuck, Connecticut. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was so taken up by the name of your town that uh, I missed it. But, yeah, there's somebody else has appeared who's quite new. Let's have a look, see, back up a bit, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, I don't like doing this. Yeah, Jane Limer. There you go. So I don't think I've seen Jane. Jane, have you been on before? Because I, I don't remember your name. If you have, I'm sorry. I apologise. Let's have a look. Oh, Rosalind's off. Right. Enjoy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. There we go. Yeah. Right. Oh, cat. Well, that that's good. I, I guess. Oh, I thought. That, yeah. So you did actually manage to quit. That is spectacular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, my, my dad stopped about 10 years ago. Just cold turkey. They just don't want it anymore. Yeah. Um, which amazed me. It really did, because he, he was quite a heavy smoker. Yeah, and, permanently um, brown fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. And and he just cut it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so, yeah, if he can do it, I can <laughs> but I, I remember when we'd been in the Middle East for quite a while and we came home uh, to England to visit family uh, about two months, maybe actually, no, more like two weeks, I think, um, after the, the smoking ban came in, in public, for public places. And uh, we walked into a pub and it was, it, it felt so strange because there was that, sort of cigarette residue in the in the air except it wasn't in the air it was like coming out of the walls and the ceiling but you could tell that nobody had had a fag in there for for weeks and it was it was weird i tell you what i think the uh smoking ban revolutionized uh pub interior design and decor um and opened the way for much more access for, for families you know like meals and things like that uh, just because you could, it was a healthier place to be. Mm -hmm. For those who actually went to the pub to get away from all that, <laughs> it probably wasn't so good. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Joan, they still have bars in Florida you can smoke in. I'm amazed. Uh, mm. But, uh, yeah, after the um, British smoking ban, you could, you could still smoke in bars in uh, in Spain. And then they, they stopped it, which, I mean, honestly... The, uh, I, I never thought they would, because um, just part of life, wasn't it, it? Yeah, yeah. So, well, Cat, I'm I'm well impressed, and I think it's natural as well. She's saying ex-smokers are worse than people who've never smoked uh, around other smokers. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I can believe it. So, professions outside the homeland. So, well, Keith did. Oh. A succession of things, didn't you? You sort of your career went in a whole new direction. Um, you've done very well. I think that's your first year. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, um, well I, I, I was trained for for theatre and uh, teaching theatre, and uh, but we were going to the Middle East, so I thought, well, there's not going to be a lot of scope for that. So I trained to teach English as a foreign language. And that's what I did in the first years of the UAE. <sighs> then I was working in a theatre school. Um, and then uh, went off and did sort of my own stuff as a drama practitioner. And then we moved. Oh, and then, then I worked in a secondary school and became head of drama there. And then we went to Spain where they've got specific uh, English international schools. Um, so me with my theatre drama teaching and training, um, I, I wasn't qualified to teach there. Um, so I went back up to EFL, and that's what I did for the seven years. We were in Spain, and it was good. Made a lot of good friends and enjoyed the work. There you go. Mm. Now, you have to take longer, because I said that yours was more complicated, and then, of course, I was well, no, too much no, I, I <laughs> trained as an interior designer and, and did that for 
10, 15 years. This was commercial interior design. Did, then, did you do a, a domestic element at no, all in your course? No, so it was all, no. all commercial, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <Grr. laughs> As Bob might say. <laughs> uh, and, and then um, the internet was invented, so I thought I'll do that. So I became a web, website designer and developer. And um, then in the last couple of years, four or five years, I started doing this YouTube malarkey. And, um, oh, it's been longer than that, baby. You started that in uh, when we were in Spain. Yeah. Yeah, you did. So it's been about, I would so, say, seven, possibly eight years now. No, it's not. It was 2015, I think. Uh, I disagree, but never mind, it doesn't matter. Well, as, oh, let's have a look. Right. So, um, right. uh, Joan, did I gain weight when I quit? Um, you, you have put weight on, yeah, because I've noticed your sugar consumption has gone right up. Yeah, it has, you've, you've got such a sweet tooth, and boy, do you indulge it. But, but if it keeps you off the cigarettes and whatnot, it's true. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> right. Um, whoa. Oh, well done, Anna. There you go. She does not want to risk putting weight on. Right. Smoking in the casinos. Okay. Yeah, Kat, I'm not surprised. About it. Did you find this when you stopped smoking? Does it change? How you, shall we say, experienced food? No. No, because um, I, I don't think I, I smoked enough for it to kill off my taste buds, actually. Because mm. um, you can't taste anything. No, I don't want, I'm too busy swallowing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, look, see, William, William and uh, Dragonstorm. Well, William's with the sympathetic Dragonstorm flaming well, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, Dragonstorm. Yeah, keep it that way. Don't ever, don't start, just don't. Um, oh, yeah, no, don't, 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 don't do it. Uh, so the number of people, I'm sure, like thought that if they wanted to quit, they would be able to. That's it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, I think we have to go, because look at the time. Oh, yeah, bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Oh, thanks for coming. It's been yeah, really nice. Yeah, <laughs> it has. It has. They're very therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> so. that, that was me trying to talk less this week. I don't think it was terribly successful. <laughs> Uh, Thanks for oh, watching. Oh, 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 right, right. I'm not big on ritual. <laughs> no, I have to, I have to. I know. Okay. And see you next time. <laughs> All right, Dragon Storm. Bye, Samantha. Bye, Joan and Kat and Jeffrey and Neil. Yeah. And Anna and ooh, all the other people whose names we can't see up there. All right. Bye. Bye.